Do you ever wonder why some entrepreneurs they succeed and why others fail? Like, what's the difference? Is it that they, they don't have the right strategy? Do they not have the right psychology? What is it? And while I'll say it's both, there's one thing that I'll share with you today that really is a difference between why some succeed and why others fail. It's because life rewards is one thing. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today I want to be able to share that one thing with you. And it's not anything mind blowing. It's not a secret that you haven't heard or something that was locked away in ancient scrolls that's just discovered and will give you success right out of the gate. It goes back to the foundation. It goes back to the basics. The difference that I find between these entrepreneurs who are extremely successful and the ones who fail is one thing. It's calculated action. And what I mean by that is everyone can take action, but what happens for a lot of entrepreneurs is they confuse movement for productivity. I say calculated action because the entrepreneur that succeeds, they are really crystal clear on what specific actions they need to take. See, I was just working with a client early this morning <clears throat> who he needs to get in his brokerage, he's a commercial agent, and in his brokerage he needs to be hitting $750,000 a year in commission or more, right? And it's halfway through the year, he's not there. But what we discovered today is he was so general on his actions. I need to raise my standards, right? Okay, cool, raise your standards, but what does that mean? We had to help him get really clear on what his revenue producing activities were and what that means on a daily and weekly basis. Because otherwise he's like, let me pick up the phone, let me go take a meeting, let me shoot a couple emails, for saying no, I gotta be out there driving and hitting 10 businesses a day. Right, I gotta be making 100 calls a day. See, the entrepreneur who is calculated in their actions, they're gonna far out succeed anyone else that's just general. And so the difference between this client from where he was before a call and after, I told him just because he was like, I gotta drive on, the, he's like, I gotta drive uh, you know, once or twice a week. And I didn't let it just say, okay, I pinned him down. I asked him, how many times? Is it once a week or twice a week? And he thought about it and he's like, no, I need to commit to twice a week. And I said, if your average transaction and commission is 60 grand, we just helped you do 52 more times a, a year. And if you're just closing percentages of around 5%, that's roughly three deals, that's around 180 grand. So he's looking at 150 to 200K additional because of pinning him down. He's now clear on his calculated actions, whereas before he was just one of those guys shooting from the hip. He was very general. He would just do movement verse be productive. They're two different separate issues. And what happens a lot of time for a lot of the entrepreneurs that I coach, they take a lot of action, but they don't get the result because they're doing this and then they go do this and then they do this. Some of the times, most of the times, what we discover is half those activities are just the easy things that don't really matter. They're the 80% of things that don't matter. You gotta get clear on what are the 20% that's gonna allow you to be calculated, that's really gonna cause you to be productive, that's really gonna warrant a result. That way you can have rapid success. You'll accelerate your goals just by doing that. So the difference between the entrepreneur who's successful versus the one who fails, at least from my experience over the decade, personally and professionally coaching people, is that they are more calculated in their action. They are specific on their revenue producing activities. My question to you is, are you? Are you as calculated as you could be? Are you as detailed in your actions as you need to be? Do you have them blocked on your calendar? specifically when you're going to do them and that they're an absolute must. They're not a, I think I should or I want to, it's I must. Everything else, pending a, you know, an emergency, everything else can wait. You have to be that clear. <clears throat> And so most entrepreneurs, they think they are, but they're really not. And that's the power of having someone in your corner. It doesn't have to be me. Go get yourself a different coach. Go get yourself someone that's gonna be supporting you. My goal here is to make sure that you're clear on your revenue producing activity. Well, Joe, you don't get it. I'm just, I'm in network marketing. Oh, 
That's incredible. You should be hitting the phones every day. You should be hitting the pavement every day. You should be hitting online leads every day. Right? Oh, Joe, I'm a stay at home mom and I'm trying to build this business. Great. What's your RPAs for that day? A busy mom. She gets things done. That's cool if you're busy because you're in that flow. So having a busy mom starting a business, you might think, oh my gosh, that's impossible. No, it's, it's great that you're busy. It's great you're taking care of a kid. We want that to fuel you. So I know people who like busy moms who get more done than the entrepreneur who has all day because they know psychologically they have all day versus a busy mom knows I got to be calculated in my actions. That's the difference between successful and a failure. And that's why people are like, oh, well, they're lucky. No, they're not lucky. They're just calculated. The ones who are most successful are calculated. Warren Buffett, when he invests in something, he's calculated. You got to be calculated. You got to know what you're doing and when. What are those revenue producing activities for you. So I challenge you, go get clarity on what that is for you. Go get so detailed. If you find that you're like, Joe, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. I just know every day I'm not taking action, a calculated action. Every day that I just sit here and wonder or I'm unclear, I'm losing, you know, a thousand dollars a day, which is, you know, 360 grand a year, right? I'm losing a million dollars a year. I'm losing $10 million a year. If that's you, you want to be, you want to make sure you have someone like myself or one of our high performing coaches in your corner with you. Go into the description below, fill out the coaching application so that we can help support you in holding that standard, holding that space for you to be able to have your breakthrough so you can produce what you want in your business. And maybe it's not about the money, maybe it's about the impact. Maybe you impact thousands of people a year and you want to impact hundreds of thousands. You have calculated actions that you're you're missing out on and the more you do them the more success you have so I challenge you to do that and if you have the courage fill out the coaching application below so with that if you found value in this video which I know you did please comment below this isn't rocket science but it is that little two millimeter tweet that when you make this shift it has massive rewards for you so with that, comment below. I'd love to know what you think about this. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and the notification right next to it so you can get notified when these videos come out. It's these two millimeter shifts that over time will stack up and you will have your best year ever. You will have your best relationship ever. You will have the best body ever. You will live an emotionally rich life, whatever that is for you. So I challenge you, hit that subscribe button, notification button so you can get these with that, my name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.